Join us as we go through the entire Bible a week at a time. Next week, we'll conclude the book of Ezra, then we'll commence the book of Nehemiah. Ready? Set? Go! What did King Cyrus say about the Lord's hand when he issued the decree to rebuild the temple? The Lord had chosen him to build the temple, the Lord had given him wisdom, the Lord had punished him for his sins, the Lord had blessed the people, the Lord had chosen him to build the temple. How did the Lord help stir people to support the rebuilding of the temple? He spoke to them directly, stirred the hearts of the people to give resources, he sent angels to guide them, he provided gold from heaven, stirred the hearts of the people to give resources. How did the Lord influence King Cyrus to return the articles of the temple? By reminding him in a dream, by stirring his spirit to honor God, by sending a prophet to warn him, by making him feel guilty, by stirring his spirit to honor God. What did the Lord provide through the enemies of the Jews during their journey? Food and water, horses and chariots, gold, silver, and other supplies? New clothing? Gold, silver, and other supplies. How was the hand of the Lord evident in allowing the exiles to settle in Jerusalem? He gave them courage to rebuild, he gave them favor with local authorities, he protected them from enemies, all of the above. All of the above. When the enemies tried to stop the building how did God help? Through prophets Haggai and Zechariah, sent them to encourage the people, he made the enemies afraid, he built the temple himself, stopped the enemies from speaking, sent them to encourage the people. What did the Lord do to ensure that the work continued despite opposition? He blinded the enemies, his eye was watching over them, he sent angels to build the temple, he made the leaders stronger. His eye was watching over them. How did the Lord's hand work through King Darius? Darius told the people to stop working, he confirmed Cyrus' decree and supported the Jews. Darius destroyed their enemies, he sent armies to help the Jews. He confirmed Cyrus' decree and supported the Jews. How did the Lord ensure the success of the temple's completion? Decreed that the royal treasury should fund the work, sent his spirit to build the temple, stopped all opposition, rebuilt the temple overnight. Decreed that the royal treasury should fund the work. What feast was celebrated to honor the completion of the temple? Passover, Feast of Tabernacles, Feast of Dedication, Feast of Trumpets, Passover. What did Ezra say about the hand of the Lord before he set out on his journey? The hand of the Lord is for good on all who seek him. The hand of the Lord will defeat our enemies. The hand of the Lord is against those who rebel. The hand of the Lord is slow to move. The hand of the Lord is for good on all who seek him. How did Ezra describe God's provision during their journey? The gracious hand of God was upon us, the Lord carried us like a shepherd, the Lord's blessing was visible in the skies, the Lord destroyed all our enemies before us. The gracious hand of God was upon us. Why did Ezra refuse to ask the king for soldiers to protect them? He trusted that God's hand would protect them, he didn't want to bother the king, he thought the journey was safe, he wanted to test the people's courage. He trusted that God's hand would protect them. How did Ezra respond when he saw the people's sins in Jerusalem? Prayed and fasted that God would guide them, he immediately punished the sinners, he called for a festival to cheer them up, he rebuilt the city gates, prayed and fasted that God would guide them. 
What action did the people take to return to God's favor, separated from foreign marriages and rededicated themselves to God? They sacrificed more animals? They worked harder to rebuild the city? They asked the king for forgiveness? Separated from foreign marriages and rededicated themselves to God.